Is there any kind of interconnectedness uh, between uh, plants and your spiritual life? There always has been, yes. Mainly because of the the fear that I had of how I looked towards other people. And then as uh, you and I developed together, um, I was able to notice how the plants needed to be taken care of. And I was able to apply that more to my immediate life. Uh, plants have helped me understand how to, or plants are helping me to understand how to love people that I don't know how to. Um, sometimes it's difficult to show people that you care. Sometimes it's difficult for me to show people that I care. Um, similar to how some plants don't take in nutrients the way that don't take in some nutrients is, uh, very well. Especially if they're very dry, it will burn the plant or the roots. Um, and it's similar to people. A lot of times if they don't if they don't want to feel vulnerable, they will reject any type of uh, love that comes across. There will be times where I am out of nowhere, I will feel something on my back, and most of the time it's a plant. Um, and obviously it would be a healthy plant because it won't be lifting its foliage unless it's happy. So, the fact that I am doing a good job taking care of uh, the plants is rewarding and you can see it almost immediately for me. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to get to a point of meditation if I wasn't in the present continuously while I am taking care of the plants that I do take care of. So it requires a consistent need to be present. And I, um, I consider those random uh, things that I notice, those uh, different things that I notice, uh, I consider that a spiritual connection um, because it's almost like somebody's patting me on the back. It's uh, like they're expressing love towards me as well. The plants? Yes.